itself at this time we call it <clears throat> the master blaster jamming i am your host for the underground news network i tall i i i called <clears throat> the staples center today seven eight two thousand nine michael ross office <clears throat> being told to do so after i called keith ehrlich's <clears throat> office yesterday after the memorial where Michael Ross secretary responded to my question who wrote the script she thought it odd and replied it was a memorial she informed me that the producers and the family were responsible for what we saw producer Ken Kenny Ortega and Grammy man uh, Keith Ehrlich <clears throat> We read in an article, the 63-year-old Ehrlich knows the pressure of all that. <clears throat> he is only two years removed from a quadruple heart bypass that he partly assigns to the stress of 27 years of Grammy show. And he also feels the weight of history. That's clear on every page of his just published backstage memoirs at the Grammy. I find it ironic that this man, they chose to do the producing of this memorial. I understand that he's the greatest. He does the Grammys, but he just had a bypass uh, surgery there and Michael supposedly died of heart complications. <clears throat> you are now in two. On the one, the force itself at this time, we call it the master blaster jamming. If the producers and the families were only responsible, well, let me tell you what I saw. It was revealed to me, 7-7-2009, under a full moon and lunar eclipse. A man was memorialized who made the dance moonwalk popular, which is a very poetic image. Enter the golden casket. Then I heard a choir sing that old Negro standard. Soon and very soon we're going to see the king. Michael Jackson was dubbed the king of pop. This simile indicates one day we would be with the king of pop in heaven. It was a message from the spirit of the people to the king that we will soon be with him ones who loved him. That was the first act of a divine script written by an invisible hand on the walls of time. You are now in tune on the one, the force itself at this time we call it the Master of Blaster Jammin. I am your host, I told I am an I for the Underground News Network. <clears throat> the second act the Reverend Pastor Lucius Smith greeted the global community watching with a good morning. He closed by saying, God bless you. We were indeed about to be blessed for in unity was witnessed the word of the gods. The third act, then I heard a voice as if an angel from heaven say in song, you and I must make a pack. 
We must bring salvation back was a command of the gods. And we were assured if we called on God, he would be there. That was Mariah Carey. Scene four. Then came two angels as one. A queen named Latifah channeled the spirit of the sage Maya Angelou who spoke through her saying. Beloveds, now we know that we know nothing. Now that our bright and shining star can slip away from our fingertips like a puff of summer wind, without notice our dear love can escape our dotting embrace, sing our songs among the stars, and walk our dances across the face of the moon. In that instance that Michael is gone, we know nothing. No clocks can tell time. No oceans can rush our tides with the abrupt absence of our treasure. Though we are many, each of us is achingly alone piercingly alone. Only when we confess our confusion can we remember that he was a gift to us and we did have him. He came to us from the Creator, trailing creativity in abundance. Despite the anguish, his life was sheathed in mother love, family love, and survived and did more than that. He thrived with passion and compassion, humor and style. We had him, whether we know who he was or did not know. He was ours, and we were his. We had him, beautiful, delighting our eyes. His hat a slant over his brow, and took a pose on his toes for all of us. And we laughed and stomped our feet for him. We were enchanted with his passion because he held nothing. He gave us all he had been given. Today in Tokyo beneath the Eiffel Tower, in Ghana's Black Star Square, in Johannesburg and Pittsburgh, in Birmingham, Alabama, and Birmingham, England, we are missing Michael. But we do know we had him, and we are the world. You are now in two. On the one, the force itself, at this time we call the Master Blaster Jammin. In essence, she was saying, we were asleep, awakened, now that he is gone. This is Michael's life. This is part one of a few more parts called Smile, revealing the Kabbalistic wisdom of the black man in the 21st century. I am Aital Ayman I for the Underground News Network. Peace until the next part.